he has power over the whole day game that Sayyidina Musa took. So you are entitled to, to be with your understanding that they have put in you. You are going to carry that responsibility. But not to her, but I'm not him. Not him. <laughs> <laughs> she will carry the responsibility, not of the pharaoh mm. and that was being the reality of, of it be careful where you step it's not something that uh, carrying that nonsense it is something that is being Acknowledging all people around the world and in the sky that they have to come to your door through Aurya Allah presence, dress Aurya Allah, that power, and can distribute, distribute that power around the world if you be able to do it. So you say the cane is a uh, secret that have entered Pharaoh's courtyard. Don't see it as a something nonsense, no. It's something that for the whole world to acknowledge its power and the whole world must come visit the awliya in order to be dressed with this power. Before he left dunya, he called me and, and he called Sheikh Nazim. At that time, Sheikh Nazim was still strong, but not at, at, as should be to make uh, us be always respecting him and taking from him power to distribute that power. So. He said that uh, Aulia, they have been taught and given these powers. And the Grand Sheikh, before he passed away, he called Mawlana Sheikh Hisham and Sheikh Nazim to his presence. At that time, Sheikh Nazim was was strong and through him they were taking this power through Sheikh Nazim. He took us behind behind his, behind his power. He wants to show it to show it to everyone because he knows more than anyone. When Mawlana speaks, when Mawlana Sheikh Adam speaks, speak, that is coming from the Prophet As if speed of, of, the, of the rocket, like that one who went into space, he used the cane, an imaginary or a physical, know-how 
that journey, that know-how, carry the secret. So that person went into space, open space, and showed that man who was an engineer for that they are present, ready. They have been explaining what he saw there. They were not able to open their eyes and looking in the space because this is not their, their business. Their business is, is ours. You say that uh, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim was the only one who was able to understand Grand Sheikh Hamdallah when he speaks. And Grand Sheikh Nazim wanted to show them that power. Those who went into the space they were seeing that power, Sheikh Nazim were showing them that power in the space. Without him, they, were, they will be blind and not knowing anything about the space because those people, their business is about the earth. So the reason they were able to understand and to see out there because they were given that power through Sheikh Nazim. We are, we are an ant, not even an ant in that, in that uh, big space. We follow what they gave us of knowing and learning about the space. He said we are uh, smaller than ant in this uh, big space. We are only following and doing what they have taught us in this huge space. I, I have to ask you to, to increase the destination of this ant. That ant is the ant that is in all universe. Mm. The secret is carrying that uh, who carries that uh, that uh, so all of them they were afraid. Wakalat namlatum. Kalat namlatum ya ayuhan namlu du kulu masakina kum la yahtiman na kum sulayman wajunu duhu wa hum la yashurun. O men, Kalat namlatum ya ayuhan namlu. One end has the power of everything Allah created on earth, it carries that secret. Allah. Allah. The ayah is, and and said to them, and they heard her, why a human being doesn't, uh, here, and, and, but instead we press and kill it. That's our nature. Nature. You say one small ant carries the power this that exists in this whole universe. One a small ant is enough. It's enough. And when that small ant spoke, the whole universe is heard his speech, except human being. We couldn't hear what the ant said. In return, we step and crush them and kill them. That is the nature of mankind. So. Those who turn their faces from the, to, from the reality of the power of the ant, and uh, they will see what people can, what, uh, what keep, keep people cannot, uh, did not uh, be able to the reality of the end that uh, one end 
الكلام دي يفرط النمل The group of ants that he encountered, Sayyidina Musa encountered, Sayyidina Sulaiman encountered, the reality of ants because he was connecting, collecting as much as he can power from the ants after has, he has been. himself and the ants and, uh, and he said those who turn toward the power of that ants those who pay heed and pay attention to the power of the ants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant them a power that they can hear and see what cannot be heard and what cannot be seen that ant where Sulaiman alayhi salam was collecting the power from, taking taking his power from. One ant. One ant, wow. only one ant from many ants. Was able to, you know, like a hoover. He says like a vacuum, like a hoover. You put it inside the... You put it inside the... Hole and put some suck. Yeah, you pull everything. Hey. So he put uh, his, uh, that and put in a tube, and it will suck everything that is inside the tube. So for that reason, how the Allah they know what is the meaning of and what is the meaning of and is and that cannot, cannot be resisted. He said that uh, power of that ant is like a hoover, like a vacuum that can suck everything in it. That's why awliya are able to understand the power of ants. It means that it's a power that no one can resist to it. Wow. And anyone says, not, not saying similar, but say, saying things that uh, they can explain to, uh, to their hearts and to their communities. So through that, the communities was granted, was granted power. And in Khalwa, you have to have a power. What I am seeing in front of me, movement, people want to find some power. So, uh, the one who can understand the power of the ants are awliya, and at the same time, awliya are the ants. Mm -hmm. Through that power, they're able to explain it to their followers, to their community, and the community becomes successful, and the community be flourish through that power that they're getting through these ants, which are awliya. He is our, he is, uh, he is uh, carrying that uh, traveler in the this, in this, in this sky. He, he saw and the new part of the, uh, part of the reality of us. He said that uh, they only able to understand uh, part of the reality of this end. The awliya were only able to understand part of this. Again, the ants that we're speaking here are the awliyas, the power that they're carrying. So they were only able to understood just one part of this power, not fully. So, another ant, look at this, uh, Make you stunned. Stunned. You cannot understand it. Sayyidina Sayyidina Sulaiman. And 
is different from the end of Sayyidina Sayyidina Suleyman. Different ones. One, they put it in the tablet under. of that wadi which has a stake cane he was he moved, moved his uh, stick and immediately it was being left in the in a place they don't know where is in any did anyone knows what is the state of ants? One ant. You say these ants are special ants with the power that they have. And again, the ants are the wali or awliyas. The power that is in the cane of this wali, no one can understand it. Because the ant that went there in the, in the, in the way of Sayyidina Ibrahim and Sayyidina, Sulaiman, Sayyidina Sulaiman and Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. He said this ant that followed the way of Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam and Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and Sayyidina Ibrahim, again, this is our awliyas that have followed these ways. That one equal that one. You can carry, but it's a very difficult to carry because you eat carry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you say that uh, these ants, which are audia, you can carry, you can carry, but it is very difficult to carry because you eat carry. <laughs> <laughs> so two, two ants is similar to both, to, to something that exi exists by the order of Sayyidina Sulaiman turned the, the, the first one and the second one. The first uh, one being carried by Sayyidina Sulaiman and the other one by Sayyidina Musa, whatever. So they, they dispatch or they send power to Sayyidina Ibrahim, telling him, stop. It's not your territory to pick and choose. You listen. And he was listening to Sayyidina Ibrahim السلام, for certain reasons. So these ants, as we said, this awliya that uh, taking a power from Sulaiman السلام, and then taking power from Sayyidina Musa السلام, these two ants or two awliyas and getting closer to Ibrahim alayhi salam and Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam told them to stop and to listen from him, from Ibrahim alayhi salam. Therefore, they were stopping and listening from Ibrahim alayhi salam. Oh, please stop. Don't continue. They are expecting a good answer from you. So the ant say, oh, stop. Very much he was addressing to Sulaiman salam, stop and do not move, do not continue. And the ants were expecting a good news from Sulaiman salam.
وساكناتنا ربنا نقو سليمان وجنوده وهم لا يشعرون أنتر أنتو دي هول that they have put hold for for that or you will be crushed so the ant said stop to Sulaiman alayhi salam and he said to other ants to enter into their holes before they get crushed by Sulaiman alayhi salam They were given that reality that we have to carry with us, like calligraphy, when we think we are doing something, they are doing that thing, not you. Not you. They are, yani, the awliya are giving this power to carry, they are carrying this power but in reality, they have been made to carry it. Behind them, there is someone that is giving them this power to carry. Inshallah, we'll continue later. Inshallah, we'll continue later. SubhanAllah. But, no. He said that Asa, that stick is a heavenly stick. Was able to open the ocean, open the ocean in two parts. Oh. It was able to open the sea in two parts. <coughs> so make sure what you are speaking and what you are eating and we are taking from what because asa can have two many meanings we, we spoke two, two, two meanings or three meanings there is still many Sayyidina Musa took the asa because he is He's a strong personality. Pick up the Asa and he opens the ocean. So this is how Awliyaullah, they, they work. It's not like us. We put gasoline, we put mazot, and diesel, we put... No. It's a B and it's a B. He said Asa has many meanings and we only spoke about roughly two meanings of Asa. Musa alayhi salam took that Asa and he opened the sea, he opened the ocean. That's how Awliya works. Mm -hmm. They use the power of Asa to do their job. They don't use the gasoline or they don't use the gas or anything. That is our way but Awliya don't work like that. They just say kun fayakun, be and it is. That's their way. May Allah bless you and bless me and be with us and be with, mm -hmm. be with everyone. May Allah bless you and bless me and may Allah be with everyone. Amen. Amen. Fatiha. MashaAllah. SubhanAllah. Hey, Ya Rab. So, ah, oh, you are here. Everyone is here. Now. You call them all. You fish everybody. Ah, yeah.